One piece. Get out of the here. The reverie begins. Oh, the reverie begins so much. Begins. Hey, guess what? We're late. I'm sorry. It happens. Won't happen again until maybe a couple more months down the road. Uh, <laughs> yeah, until we get until we get those 69 more subscribers. No, no. Here's what happened. Well, first of all, we're at 104, so it'd be. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not into new math. But no, here's what needs to happen. David and I are moving into an apartment. Then you need to move up here, like you said. Once all of us live together, fucking videos for days. You have so many videos, you're not even going to know what to do with yourself. Um, wait, 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 wait. Before you go off on that tangent, as soon as I move in with you, Red, uh, I yeah. demand that we fucking have a live stream roasting Thurman for his lateness. <laughs> Can we just roast him for everything? Like, just a roast of the whole team? Uh, yeah, let's let's just do a live roast of the team. Let's bring back something that we did in the Facebook group. A live stream roast. Yeah. Anyway. Your audio is shit. Okay, I'm just here for one. Is mine? Okay. Um, is it okay now? So, let's talk about... Let's talk about... Yeah, your audio's better now. Princess of the Flowers over here. The one who was healing all these motherfuckers. In Death Rosa, the tiny, I forgot her name, fairy. Oh, Ma Manchiri. Manchiri to Man. I don't know how to pronounce that. I need help pronouncing that name. Okay. Manch uh, yeah. I am going through a, a zone, so I hope. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Manchiri. Manchiri Tan, I, I think. Whatever. We're going to call her Man from now on. Call her Man. How does that sound? Or how about Cherry? Or Cherry? Uh, I've always called her Man Cherry. <laughs> We're gonna call her. Just gonna call her Man from now on. No, so it's Man, it's man Cherry, Princess Man Cherry. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's okay. What? Do you have a problem with popping my Man Cherry? <laughs> Why does Shirohoshi call her Man Cherry Chan Sama? Well, because Shirohoshi, that that's like her quirk. I know it's been a while since Fishman Island. But one of her quirks was like adding like way too many suffixes to people's names. Don't you remember? Um, I, I, if I say yes, will you believe no, it? It's fine, you forget everything about series. It's almost like you shouldn't even read them. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I do. And, and and so this whole first half or part of the little uh like the first page was absolutely drawn. So Oda, you know Oda wanted it was just like I have a really small princess and a really big princess and I want to draw them together and. I think if you're perverted like I am, Thurman, and, and we can we can revel in being perverted together, I'm sure. My first thought was, goddamn, if I was your, or if I was Mancherry right now, I would just want to dive into the ocean of tits. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, literally, uh, like she's like an ant. Dive person. into the ocean of tits, David. You gotta uh, understand. Go go look at the first page of this chapter right now. Uh, let me open up my app. Okay, so Shirahoshi, David, so you understand, Shirahoshi is huge. Like, she's like a giant, right? And then Mancherry is like a, a, a dwarf. And she's like on her arm, right in front of her boobs. And I'm just like, you could just literally swan dive, like, full, like, arms clasped together, dive into the cleavage. It'd be the. Oh, 34! Oh my god. Like, <laughs> these are the things men dream about, my friend. <laughs> Rule 34! God! Damn! Right? Please. Am I right? Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'd be, uh, I'd be diving into them titties right now. <laughs> David, go back to Code Geass. There's no titties you can dive into in Code Geass. They normal sized titties. I'd still bury my face in C2, so fuck off. But just the face. You can't bury your whole body. You can't literally be yeah, like, like a hot 360 degrees surrounded in titty. Let me ask you this, David. Can can a character in Code Geass talk to kings? Huh? Can yes, she some that's, that's a horrible Thurman, that's a horrible comparison. Yes, they can. <laughs> nah, fam. Somebody, 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 somebody needs not, not only does Lelouch become a king, his father's the king. <laughs> so Watch the goddamn show, you heathen. <laughs> yeah. Um no, I was gonna say, can a character in, in Code Geass give you a tit job, but not of your dick, of your whole body? Maybe in season three. I'm Never. Sorry, I haven't masturbated in like three days. I'm very horny right now. Uh, I, I usually don't have tits on the brain this much. You gotta understand. 
I love no how you just put that out, right out there for the subscribers. Good job, man. As Jeff Jeff from Achievement Hunter has so eloquently said, I know in his context it was when you're 17, you're a walking dick. I'm going to say when you haven't masturbated in almost a week, you're also a walking dick. So, uh, understand. <laughs> Please Luna, understand. Luna. So, uh, Thurman, what would you like to talk about next? You want to you dive straight into the Kuma stuff? Because holy fucking shot, fuck dick. Uma. So, but the one, the one thing I before we jump into that, this one thing that got me curious here, uh, when when he, when uh, what's the little dude says, can, does that mean that he could they can beat up everybody in there and he'll be blamed for it? What what, what got me curious was is it? I, I I think I don't know if I uh brought this up in a, in a, a earlier one piece discussions, but I, I always wanted like the hierarchy of the uh, of the celestial dragons themselves. Are they all so equal power? From or... what we're seeing, and what I've always guessed, but from what we're seeing here, each celestial, like the, the uh, normal celestial dragons, they are on an equal playing field as all of the other ones. It's kind of like a legal gray zone, right? So if, if one celestial dragon hits another celestial dragon, it's like one of those, like, well, what are we supposed to do? Like, both of them are gods in our eyes, so we can't punish either of them. You know what I mean? If a god hits a god, that's just a... The, that's just a matter that mortals don't trifle with. You know what I mean? That'd be like Zeus yeah. fucking Hercules fighting. You know, it's like, well, we won't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Technically, Hercules is a demigod. Okay, fucking come up with another god then. Zeus uh, and Jesus. Zeus and uh, Thor. God damn it. Do not, do not make the Greek mythologies and Christian mythologies come clashing. We'll have a war in the comment section. Are you, Thurman, you love crossovers. But, 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 yeah. but, but, but Thurman, there's that, that one fighting game that where you can, you know, play as Jesus and beat the shit out of Zeus. Is that real? Is yes, that it real? is. Yes. Yeah, I want a fighting game of every deity. I want, I want, like, literally in the same it game. It exists. To be able to have, like, no, no, hold on. Like, straight up, though. Can you imagine the same game? You have, like, Zeus, Cthulhu, Flying Spaghetti Monster, Jesus, all of them. Every deity ever created. <laughs> Whatever the Scientology deity is, if that exists. Hmm. Well then, so you go Back watch that this. South Park episode where they talk about that. Uh, I'm actually. I'm scared. Wait, no. Am I going to be killed now? Am I going to get an assassin? You, you're you're going to die by suicide to the back of the head. No, that's Hillary Clinton. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, disclaimer: I do not believe or disbelieve that. I haven't looked into it enough. Uh, <laughs> but uh, moving on, so. Uh, no, so here's the thing with Leo, right? He says that, and you can tell that um, uh, the the guy, the, the celestial dragon's kind of like, uh, yeah, I think, but you know, he's probably never done something like this before. He knows that he can get away with whatever he wants, but I feel like he's got to know if he pushes it too much, he can get fucked. Like think um, Doflamingo's dad, you know what I mean? But I mean, Doflamingo's dad willingly left, though. That's a thing. Exactly, like, but like now, but I, I guarantee you, if he pushes it too much, if there's like the, if he is specifically, like for example. Let's just elephant in the room here. The I'm Sama at the end of the chapter. If he were to do something against that guy, guarantee you know, guarantee you would be like, nah, nah, your power doesn't go to here. You know what I mean? Yeah, the the I'm Sama hype. So the, but the, uh, the reason I'm hold on. So before you move on, the reason I'm bringing bringing that up, it could be it could be a she, could be a genderless fucking being. I don't fucking know. So uh, uh, well, I've added. Some people think it's wait, wait, wait. No, wait. it has not. This isn't. David, shut up. Uh, no, shut up. Uh, right now, live edit on the screen is the fighter select screen from that game I was talking about. Moving oh, that's on. That's pretty amazing. Sorry, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna come in with some SJW shit no. for a second. No. Nope. Thing. <laughs> I was gonna let you know that it's literally like this thing could be a fucking alien. We don't fucking know. It's like, <laughs> but uh, but uh, no. What I wanted to say about I'm Sama was like, when it comes to what the celestial dragons can get away with, like there's clearly power above them. Um, the only people I, that I would say are above the Celestial Dragons would be Gorosei and this I'm Sama. So, in my opinion, let's, if this, like, let's say this Celestial Dragon that's helping Chirahoshi and Neptune and all them, right? If that Celestial Dragon decided to be like, you know what? Uh, you know, like, fuck, like, like, like let's say, like, what if the Gorosei, like, here's why I'm saying this, right? Like, let's say the Gorosei finds out that Chirahoshi is Pluton, or not Pluton, I'm sorry, um... Neptune, wait, what is it again? I, Poseidon. I Thank you. That that actually flipped my brain. I apologize. So let's say they find out she's Poseidon. And by the way, at the end, 
I'm Sama has a picture of Shirohoshi, so there's some shit going on there, right? So let's say they find out she's Poseidon, and the Goro say, or I'm Sama, or both say, hey, we're going to take her for use of the world government. That Celestial Dragon is not stopping them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, there's definitely got to be a, a limit where their power runs out. Um, especially with someone like Charlo. So you got to think, like, like Charlos could have literally just started war with the entirety of the fishermen there. And, and he would have, I guess. But I got to assume that at some point the Gorosei could step in. Like, listen, you can have most of the stuff you want, but uh, <laughs> you can't, like, overturn the system on a whim. Because some of these fucking Celestial Dragons are... One of them... What if one of them's like, I decided that I don't like those three islands. Blow them up. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, but we, we, we're allied with them. And it's like, no, nope, I mean, where's the line from what they can do? You know, it's, it is interesting to consider. We're probably going to start, we're probably going to see at this arc, to be honest, we're probably going to see the limit of their, of their power now that we know yeah. who, who's essentially the king is. No, I mean, yeah. So, God. so, uh, Moving on, let's move on to the Kuma Jewelry Bonnie shit. That shit got me Oh my tired. god, my boy Kuma. Your he, boy uh, Kuma's so, fucked. So, I mean, he's been fucked, but he's extra fucked now. Like, it, it looks like this man got the, got the guts treatment. Full on, full on, full black man. Eight inch cock in his... This man... What are you talking about? You cut out, so I need you to re- reconfirm what you just said there. I heard black man and then nothing else. So please say again. I said... This, I feel like feel like this man just got the guts treatment, full on eight inch cock in the ass type type treatment. Why did you say black man? Because oh, like a black cock? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Thurman, just because, like, man, we get it. You're black. Weird if you keep bringing that, up your cock. But that's context, sort of. What are you talking about read, read Berserk, bitch. <laughs> Wait, so like, are you telling me like a, an eight inch black cock fucks? guts like i would not be i would not be spoiling anything for those of you who haven't read berserk yet does that happen (laughs) is it specifically black (laughs) uh no comment no no comment eight inches no like some fucking screw attack scaling (laughs) (laughs) no comment Listen, listen. Okay, first of all, first comment is, fans, if you're still here, you need to know that what's great about us at Chaos is we know we're never going to get any brand deals. We know we're never going to get sponsored by Blue Apron or MeUndies because we talk about people getting fucked by 80 black cops. And you know what? We're okay with that because we don't censor, we don't censor ourselves here at Control Chaos. We're going to give you that raw, unbridled entertainment that you can't get on the mainstream shows. Exactly. N- get your nut buttons and nut with us. That's our slogan now. <laughs> Come and nut with us. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, okay. It helps when I, I, I love filming these when I'm loopy. Uh, okay, so uh, moving on. So Kuma, though, right, so that fucking guy, and the best part is that's not just a random pacifista. At first, I thought it was just a pacifista. Nah, that's actual body. And um, remember, so, that's um, the same one that. Well, oh, sorry, remember that that's the same one that protected the, the the sunny as well over the time skip. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm curious, what I'm curious is because you know that he went over like a a cyborg, cyborg android. Uh, I don't know which one they said, but Basically, he they were slowly they were slowly rebuilding him, uh, him, and then. Vegapunk like switched his memories off essentially. Like his brain's just off and now he's just a robot. Yeah, so he's like a cyborg slash robot type deal. Yeah. So uh so it's kinda like so what I'm confused with here is why is he even why is he here in the first place? Like who, the, why is, the dragons are assholes. Like okay, I have two theories. Oh, but, to, like, like isn't he because he's he was still I don't know if this changed post time skip, but uh, he was still technically one of the seven warlords. So he what? I, what I'm assuming, so yeah. what I'm assuming is is that either he uh, he's being punished for protecting the straw hat ship, or something happened. Like off you, okay, that can... I'm gonna you. You must have missed a couple things, so I'll let you know. So number one is they can still easily do this while he's still a warlord because he doesn't have thoughts and. He doesn't think anymore. He can easily be repaired. 
So until they need him to do something, they, they rent him out to the fucking Celestial Dragons as a slave. Easy. Done. Him, you take him for a bit, they bring him back. Done. He's unbreakable. That's the point of it. And then number two is, I don't know if you noticed in this chapter, it, it um, confirmed that Kuma, before becoming a revolutionary, he was the king of the Sorbet Kingdom. Um, so he was a king of his own kingdom, uh, and, and he must have, essentially, as that king, he must have slowly uh, started realizing how corrupt the world government was. I'm going to guess that we're going to see a flashback of that pretty soon at some point, and it'll involve Jewelry Bonnie. Um, so, because I don't know if you noticed, Jewelry Bonnie was the queen of that kingdom, uh, which means that uh, her and Kuma are either, it depends because ages are hard with Jewelry Bonnie because we don't know what her actual age is, but either her and Kuma are either husband and wife, uh, father and daughter, grandfather and grandfather, but they are related in some capacity. Um, and, uh, and Kuma was king of this nation. And what I put together from this chapter is that he was the king. And then while he was the king, something fucked up with the government happened. He went and joined the revolutionary army. Then they found out. And then uh, he made a deal with the government. Like, Hey, I will become your unthinking robot killing machine. If you bear, you know, probably Julie Bonnie, honestly. Cause remember last time when I kind of fuck, what happened? He was like, kind of like, oh my God, it's you, blah, blah, blah. And then every time she's caught, they let her go. You know what I mean? So I think Oh, that yes. Jewelry body backstory. One of my favorite of the worst generation. She needs love, people. No, but but are you seeing what I'm saying, though? Is like, like yeah, yeah. you're right. I, 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 I like that. So honestly, I have no rebuttal towards that because I feel like that. The Revolutionary and, Army, the Revolutionary Army said, literally said, he was the king of a, of a nation. And he betrayed them by joining the Revolutionary Army. So this is their way of showing the world this is what happens if you do that shit. So, yeah, so... What's happening? Are you going to keep the recording going? Okay, go ahead. All right, so, uh, but yeah, so Thurman, like, essentially he was the king, he was the king, you know, he was in the same position as Cobra was, anyone like that, right? And then joined the Revolutionary Army. He was probably at one point trying to king and be part of the revolutionary army then he got found out and then he probably became a warlord to protect his um people from the government you know what i'm saying uh so okay yeah that makes sense i i i don't really have a theory about that so that makes a lot of sense i don't know how you didn't like that was like incredibly obvious to me like, i'm not sure how you didn't see that i mean well i mean he was the we, king of sorbet kingdom it literally said that Chapter. Did you not see that? Yeah, I know. I know who the king. It said it right there. But I'm just saying, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to. I was just trying to like. I, I, I had a. Uh, I was trying to think of stuff in my head, but I couldn't. I couldn't uh, bring it out there. Thurman, I'm 99% sure what I'm saying is correct here. It's literally like he was a king. And then he joined the Revolutionary Army while he was a king. The government caught wind of this. And then what do you do when, you know, literally the whole point of being a warlord is we'll let you keep doing what you're doing as long as you work for us. And then I think that the whole deal to make himself a robot was to protect Jewelry Bonnie. See, but I, I'm not disagreeing with you, though. I said that's a good theory. Okay, you're just being weird about it. Like, uh, yeah, I'm just being <laughs> weird. Ignore me. I said I'm being weird. Ignore me. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that, that, <laughs> I, I, can, I don't know what you're saying. I just heard ignore me. Um, but, uh, I said so, I'm just being weird. Ignore me. Oh, okay. I thought you called me a normie and I was confused. What? <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. We're, what Are normie you? discusses One Piece? <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so but that's, that's my thing with Kuma and the Rebel Jeremy kind of talk about it. So I think that's really interesting. Now, Jewelry Bonnie's reveal was great, and it, to me, it seems like now, because, you know, you know how every time she showed up, she was always saying shit like, I'll never forgive them, I'll never forgive them, you remember? Yeah. Like, to me, now, now that basically shows that what she's talking about is the world government for what they've done to Kuma and her, and her country, is what I'm going to guess. Yeah. Because um, you can go back to, like, to Saba Odi now, it makes so much sense, like, why she has, like, such a... And remember, she was the one that stopped Zoro from hitting a Celestial Dragon. She was the one that was very familiar with how Celestial Dragons, you know? Mm-hmm. 
David, are you muted? Because you're just making noises in the background right now. Okay. So, um, uh, but yeah, she, she remember she's the one that stopped Sora from hitting the Celestial Dragon, which now makes a lot more sense too, because she's she understands them. She's well acquainted with them clearly. Um, and and if she's the wife of Kuma, and because I, I personally think she's the wife of Kuma. Um, I I I hope she isn't. Why? Because I won't feel bad for making her wait. Is she legal? Yes. Then I won't feel bad for making her a waifu once she gets her oh, amazing. You can make her a waifu. Let's... Kuma Kuma's essentially dead. You can absolutely make her a waifu. <laughs> no, th- I, are you telling me you I'm don't a... make? Hold on, wait. Are you telling me you don't like waifu eyes like happily taken people in anime? I feel bad. They're taken. You can't waifu someone who's in taken. You have to have medium? So you're telling me, you, like, what do you what do you do? Do you not tap to them? Like, do you on per, on principle not tap to like taken characters in anime? Like, I'm curious. Like, legitimately. Well, it depends on if if the person they're taken by is a good character or not. Oh my god, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> However, in front of me for not watching real porn off a of principle, but wait, 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 wait. Did we just find out that Thurman is a pervert with principles? Thurman only faps to single anime characters or anime characters that are taken by someone that he doesn't think is nice. <laughs> okay, then you heard it here first, <laughs> Control Chaos. Ugh. That's pretty amazing. See- See, Kuma, Kuma is a great character, and I. But it all all depends on how well Oda writes Joey Bonnie as a character. She could suck. See, I'm a personality guy, so she won't be waifu material if her personality sucks. So far, from what we've seen, seen from her, she's been a cool character. I like her devil fruit. <clears throat> yeah, that's but, the other thing too. You're asking if she's legal. She has an age fruit. She can be legal or evil, depending on what. You, like literally, kind of up in the air it's kind of creepy now luckily here if you want to think about this i actually think older than she appears because did you notice that um the guards recognized her as the old queen which means to me i think she's actually way older than she appears she uses the fruit to be younger like a tsunade type thing oh no it doesn't make her not waifu dude she literally has a fruit that fucking she can come on what do you mean oh no Hmm. That's like people that won't fuck. Uh, that's like the people. There are people that are like literally saying, you know, Bello Betty, the, the the woman revolutionary that was introduced. Yeah. A lot of people are saying, oh, she can't be a waifu because she's probably a man, and Eva turned her into a woman. So what? She's a woman right now. <laughs> Who cares? It's a fucking magical world. So like we just found out that Red's a believer, and if there's a hole, there's a way. No, it's a fucking bro. Jewelry Bonnie again. Even if she has the mind of an eighty-year-old, like, why, why does it bother you? Like, like that is, that's actually a legitimate like question. Like, why that bothers you? Like, if she's willing, and you're willing. Why does it bother you? It 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 doesn't. It doesn't. It just it's just weird uh, fucking morals. Peak, peak. It's just. Eh, it, it's not. It's not that anything wrong with it. I don't have an issue with it. It's it. It, 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 kind, it kind of so, ca- caught me off guard. Put it like that. Caught me off guard. Well, but I, like, hope you, I hope you understood that from from like day one of jewelry being introduced, there there was no guarantee that what her, the age we saw her first as the real age. You have an age devil fruit. She could literally be any age. You know what I mean? Like you should have thought about that. Because I thought about that when I like she could be any fucking age. Doesn't you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so so uh, to me, they recognized the queen, the very old queen that she showed up as, they recognized that queen. Like she had been that queen for a long time. So to me, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna highly, highly assume that that is her real form. And the way I look at this is is that Jewelry Bonnie, she was the queen. Sometimes, I don't know how long she had that fruit, but when Kuma got fucked over, essentially Jewelry Bonnie decided to become a pirate um, to do whatever the fuck she was planning on doing. Um, and she can use the fruit, uh, use the fruit to essentially disguise herself because obviously so she can live a double, like one of those double lives. You know what I mean? So like, you know, queen by day, pirate by night. She could be doing, maybe she has a body double there to look like the queen. Or look, someone that looks like her but really isn't, and then she can go out and be a pirate in her normal form. We even saw a chapter a while back 
where she stole a slice of pizza as an old woman and then walked outside of the pizza store and turned into a little kid. So they were like, where's that old yeah. woman with the pizza? You know? In the anime. <laughs> no, that was in the manga too, man. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Did you not think that that was in the manga? Uh, to be to be honest with you, I don't really trust Toei anymore, so you got to assume everything's filler until the manga disproves that. <laughs> well, <that's> the <laughs> Unless I'm... you're a hashtag manga reader only god tier, then you don't have to worry about that. Honestly, Thurman, for the most part, when it comes to the anime, the scenes they do are canon. They just stretch them out to an ungodly long line. So, like, it was probably, like, if I'm remembering correctly, it was, like, one or two panels in the, in the manga, and then the anime would have dragged it into something, like, stupid long. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. So, moving on, though, th- that's my thing with, with Jewelry and, um, and uh, Kuma. I think that they, it, it could be anything. It depends on what her age, but from the clues I'm getting, I think she's actually an older person. And so, I'm going to assume that, but, but then again, her personality is kind of, like, temper tantrum me so the whole eating thing i don't know it really she could honestly be kuma's wife kuma's daughter kuma's granddaughter i don't know but she is definitely related to kuma and it looks like she's trying to infiltrate the entire area to save kuma well i mean it could it could be one of those situations to where she just looks like what her grandma looked like exactly and that that that's totally <clears throat> feasible as well which is why who knows we'll, we'll see but but we can both agree that she's related to kuma in some way I yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend, daughter, granddaughter, something. Or Seth related to Kuma in some way, or at least from the country that he was king of for a time. Well, she's definitely from the country that he. And she, she's in somewhat related to the. She either is the queen, or is related to the queen of that country. Ooh, can't wait for that goat tier One Piece backstory. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but, let's, um, so, let's take bets on what it'll be worse than Laws or Robin's backstory. So, so, um, so moving on to the scene with the Revolutionary Army, they, like I said, they kind of confirmed the whole he was a king. They're doing this to him to kind of like show his like. Like I think all the fucked up shit they've done to Kuma, it literally is a message. Like you fucked with the world government. That's probably what they want to do to every Revolutionary Army member. Which means if you're a Revolutionary, if they catch any of the Revolutionary Armies, they're fucked. They're, it's not just death that's going to happen to them. They're going to, and yes, he says success or death, more like success or the worst fucking thing that the government could ever do to you. Because if you're a rev, they're, that's essentially like their their most top enemy. They pretend it's pirates. It's not. So Sabo and the be <clears throat> careful because I'm pretty sure they'd do a similar thing to them if they were caught. Yo, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, they're underground and waiting, and uh, I'm I'm real excited to see. Really like that. Do. I, I I really like that his devil fruit the way he could just maneuver on the ground like that. I really yeah, like that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm curious. I'm still curious to see what makes it different than the mole mole fruit from the alabasta arc, though, because I mean, like, kind of similar. It's probably a situation to what Oda said in the SBS. How like the like lava a better version of it? Yeah, better. Just, it's the similar, but there's a better version of it. He probably has a better version of that fruit. I'd be interested to see how that works. Yeah, As some people theorize that it's in his spear. It's not him, but it's but it's his spear. Because you notice he's always using his spear when he's doing it. Mm-hmm. So that'd be interesting. But um, okay, let's move on to uh <laughs> something that fucking concerned me heavily concerned me was this scene where they're like, Oh, Cobra wants a meeting with us. Hope he doesn't fucking try some shit. <laughs> and then they're like, Maybe we need to do a new great cleansing. And I'm like, oh god, it's sounding very Hitlery in here. <laughs> Whenever you have government officials talking about a cleansing, oof. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that, Thurman? Oh man, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard it's hard to it's hard to gauge what they're uh what they're essentially trying to do here. That's straight up terrifying. <laughs> like like to me, <laughs> when the world government in one piece says, let's fucking cleanse, let's do a great cleansing, like to me, does that mean that they're going to try to do another void century? Because that's what I thought of when they said great cleansing. That sounds like a void century thing. Like, wipe out all the kings, start over, some shit. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> essentially what they're saying in these lines is, too much shit is happening. That war has caused things to be unstable. This isn't good for our power. Because here's the thing. The government, governments know that power, remember what Doflamingo says, power fades quickly. I took that as a political power thing, because that's true. 
No place stays in power for long. No place wins forever. Think the Roman Empire was the fucking most powerful, oh my God, in the world, and they fell. Everyone will fall. So the world government has to know that if they don't do something, if they just let things progress, eventually they will fall. So I think that what they might have been doing for the past however many years, they might just every once in a while do a fucking thing where they just purge the entire, like, all of the big kings and start over to make sure that, like, because it sounds, it's one of those, like, they're asking too many questions, got to wipe them out, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and you can see that uh, if you look at uh, what they're saying, because because from from here it seems like we're getting a foreshadowing of all the people that the war government is wary of, because they're still there's this this is this is the second like the I think like the third time that they've mentioned Big Mom and Kaido, so we can see that the war government Kaido and Big Mom have a bigger picture in it than we thought they did, so it's essentially. Essentially, they're they're in a bit of a bind right now. Luffy kind of mm-hmm. started this. Luffy kind of is kind of started this. Uh, the movement of two people who essentially were so big that even Garp had to, you know. So, ju- judging by what uh, what Kaido, what Kaido and Big Mom ha- influence is, and how they're they're and mentioning that, and how they're talking about the uh, Vivi's family. And how and all the extra stuff we could see a big gear uh, starting to turn here in the sense of okay, so we have Kaido and Big Mom who was set, who obviously were who the war government is worried about. There's something that they did while like a long time ago before Rogers era that fucking shook the world. So mm-hmm. we have, and then with the and then we have uh, Vivi's family who essentially they called them traitors, and then we yeah. We know, that we know that he's gonna ask about the polyglyphs, so that's already a double one right there. <laughs> Dude, I, so, I, just, at first I was see, here's the thing: I was worried about Cobra. Now I'm worried about all of Alabasta. Because <laughs> a lot of here's so, the thing, right? What did they? Do? Let's remember what they did to Ohara when motherfuckers were the polyglyphs. Okay, blew it all the fuck up. And who who made the decision to blow it all the fuck up? A Kainu. Who's in charge of the Marines right now? A Kainu. So um, he, they could very well do a buster call on Alabasta if it got bad enough. So it's... So here's the thing. You know, you'd say, oh, why, don't they, why not just kill the king? They don't know if the king, you know, they don't know if the king, Cobra's the, a king who talks to his people. For all they know, the, he might have told all of his people, well, I'm going to ask you about the Poneglyphs, you know what I mean? Or he might have told all of his people what they thought about the Poneglyphs. They don't know. They have to be careful. So they might fucking straight up. And there's some people that think that the ancient weapons are going to come into play. If they get Shirahoshi, they don't even got a buster call in. They could fucking just send the Sea King to just sink the fucking island. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting ready. I think we're about to get to some like island level, just like literally just like destroying fucking country time. Not in like one attack, of course. I'm not talking deep shit. But like, I think we're about to get to like some moments where like. Oh my god. So I guess moving on to this I'm Sama shit. Like, this was like, and I hate, oh, to man. Compare, I hate to compare anything to Naruto because just on principle it just feels wrong. But, um, what I will say is I got like immediate like Madara reveal vibes. Like, <laughs> like this guy's like some like Riengan fucking end game level shit. Uh, sorry. I stopped, I stopped reading Naruto after shit, shit, put in so. <laughs> it just gave so, me that vibe of like it actually felt like something Kishimoto would draw because like, the the Rien, it looks like a fucking Rien gun and shit. But um, <laughs> let's talk about the middle panels right here, right? So we have so I apparently I don't know we don't know who is I'm Sama is besides the fact that he's essentially the king of the world. Essentially, that's what they're trying. Essentially, to the most powerful person in the entire One Piece world. And the fact it was actually very chilling to me. That um, it was very chilling to me that uh, this this I'm Sama person, or like, because up until now the Gorosei had seemed so like absolute in their power. You know what I mean? Like it was always the Gorosei choose everything, right? And to see the Gorosei who have been basically like, we choose everything. You get on your feet and for, get on your knees in front of us for them to just bow down to this person. Like we serve you. Like they seem like I immediately got like cultists like just they don't even know what they're doing they're so like they're so in awe of this whoever this being is that they've thrown out all sense of reason and they just follow him no matter what he says. 
And it's just like crazy to see that from the gore of Sam, all people. And and just look and so one thing that caught my eye is too is that the fact that they said that uh essentially the uh the I'm Sama is the one who calls the shots on who needs to be taken out, right? So yeah, light so, essentially, so essentially if we consider this like a, ma- a, ma- a mafia thing, like he's like the mafia boss and he's the one who says, okay, these guys are the ones who are who are causing the most trouble, we had to take them out. And so essentially what, what's gonna happen here, we see all the we see we see all these photos of Shirahoshi, Luffy, Blackbeard. And then we have a we see a picture of I believe that's either Vivi or Rebecca. I think that's Vivi. So essentially essentially what, what's happening here is what we can gauge from this is that the fact that he's he's in this room he's choosing he's choosing essentially which which person that he wants to get rid of because i feel i feel like i feel like it, it makes sense as to why uh uh what's his name um from thriller bark a uh, gecko morio was taken out because probably i'm someone said that he needed to be taken out and then, so remember what Dolphy said he said someone from higher up caught said that you needed to die so essentially, it could be the same thing with here, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just that I'm someone that says, okay, this guy needs to die, and so they're going to go after him. So, so sorry, seeing sorry, how... I just want to test something. I'm, uh, I just got to David's, and I switched over to his mic now. Can you still hear me okay? Yeah. And it's getting me on OBS, David? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. No, so I agree with you, right? I honestly think that... Because um, remember, you are right that when, when Gecko Moria was, uh, you know, taken out, um, and it, it's so fitting that it's that it was fucking Doflamingo, actually, because, like, Doflamingo now is the one that knows all of this, because he was up there. He was a celestial dragon. So to me, I think that, because uh, just to remind you exactly what Doflamingo said, when, when, um, when he was being, when, uh, Gekko Moria was being killed by Doflamingo, well, almost killed, uh, Gekko Moria was like, oh, it was that bastard Sengoku, wasn't it? And, and, uh, Doflamingo was like, no, 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 think higher. And at that point, people assumed that he meant the Gorosei, but I don't think he ever clarified. I think that, I think that he meant this fucking Aimsama guy. Yeah. So, and then judging by uh, the photo, I feel like it's my theory, but I think Vivi might be next. Oh yeah, I mean, that's not that hard of a theory to make. Like literally, he's walking up there with a picture of her. <laughs> Like she, like, like she, know, she has like a knife in the thing, and but Sweet and Luffy rabbit. and Blackbird have have their things cut up. So essentially, we have we have our top five, uh, are the top, the top five on the hit list, right? We have Luffy, Blackbeard because Blackbeard is still a very 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 yeah, dangerous person right now. She, Shiro Hoshi yeah, because he's because she's Poseidon. Luffy is because not only has Luffy proven himself to be. Uh, to be a thorn in their side, but he's also it's also been hinted that uh, he's gonna he's gonna fuck shit up. Hashtag main character status. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, I think I'm someone right now is just deciding who who in the who in the long run should be killed first, right? Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, it would make sense if all of them were killed uh, for for their purposes. So I don't know why the the whole. I think if anything, the only reason that there'd be an order. Because notice that, so cause what I find interesting is Luffy's and Blackbeard's are ripped up. They're like cut up. Shirahoshi's, Shirahoshi's has a knife stabbing through it. And then Vivi's is the one that he's carrying up. So I almost wonder if it's like Blackbeard and Luffy we're going to kill eventually. Shirahoshi we have to take over because this guy, if anyone knows, if anyone's going to know that Shirahoshi's an ancient weapon, it'd probably be this fucking guy. So he's probably like, Blackbeard, Luffy, we got to kill. Shirahoshi, we're going to capture. And then um, uh, Vivi, I'm not sure if they want to kill her or if they want to try to, like, hypnotize her. Because uh, the fact that, like, I don't understand. Because you'd think kill mean the, the cut up ones mean kill. But, like, why ju- why is he carrying her specifically? Unless he's only killing Vivi. Something's going to happen to Vivi, clearly. Obviously. Um, and, but I wonder why. Because, like, Cobra's the one that's asking about shit. Vivi... V really hasn't done much that they know of. They shouldn't know that she worked with the Straw Hats. So, I mean, what's your thought on that? Uh, it's because 
because she's still uh because she's still a very close to them so maybe because uh because we there's no there's, there's nothing there's no evidence saying that bb's somewhat important besides being the daughter of alabaster well, right? she's important because so she's a princess of alabaster yeah that's about i could it, think of one think of one of three things right mm-hmm. either one what you said because he knows she was acquainted with the straw hats mm-hmm. two because they're going to make an example out of the trade. The, well, they might just make an example out of all of Alabasta because I know. Al, remember, Alabasta is the one. Because I'm assuming you remember that Alabasta is one of the original twenty uh, family or the Nefertaris of Alabasta are the one of the original twenty families that founded the world government. So Vivi actually should be a celestial dragon. You know that, right? Yeah. So, but but they chose not to do that. Like they they pulled a Doflamingo, except they never went up there in the first. Or they pulled a Doflamingo's family, and they never went up there in the first place. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's either that second part, or three, it's like uh, something greater than that. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, who knows? It might get a big reveal about Vivi, who knows? But it's probably one of those three, because it's interesting to see why they would try to take out Vivi now, mostly because of the Polyglyph situation. But, I mean, if we think about the order of what, of, like, because remember, remember how he took it to the Straw Hat? We still don't know what, what that Straw Hat represent, right? So yeah. Essentially, I mean, it could be a theory that that straw hat it could be similar to like, uh, like one of those pots you put your hand in and you pick one, like it's like a destiny pot or something like that, or like a fortune pot. Like, eh, but that'd be stupid. Like re- nah, because why would it be a fucking straw hat then? <laughs> Who knows? No, it's, it's stupid. No. But it's stupid, but it could be I'm a sorry, theory. I nah, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to like it, but it's still a theory regardless. I know. Just telling you, it sucks. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. But uh, yeah, so it's it's uh, interesting to say the least. It's very uh, kind kind of like that theory. That's it's garbage. Like theory, 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 theory. I like theoring about it in general because it's interesting to see how it is. Mm-hmm. Well, so yeah, I think that something is going to happen with the Nefertari family in general. Uh, I would almost, like I said, I would like to see a kind of like a, a a 2.0 of what happened to Ohara because I feel like they're they're gearing up to fucking straight up just annihilate Alabasta. Um, a lot of people think that uh, Alabasta still has Pluton hidden somewhere beneath it because I mean that was kind of remember because Crocodile he got to that Poneglyph and it was confirmed that that Poneglyph did say where Pluton was. Robin just didn't refuse to tell him, you know. Plot to us, DV is Pluton. No, that'd be stupid. Um, we can't have multiple, multiple, most, all of the weapons can't be people, dude. And also, I hope you're kidding because we know what Pluton is. It's been said. It's a battleship. Maybe, maybe. No, uh, Thurman, you're digging your grave. Maybe Stop. VV, maybe VV. Maybe VV is gonna be a fucking Voltron and transform into a battleship. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> She ate the battleship fruit. Do, 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 do. It's like, cue that Frankie music. Best, best, best character theme, by the way. Frankie theme. Do, 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 do. Best theme. 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 David doesn't even read One Piece. He has no right to ban me for anything. He said, you, don't, you don't read One Piece, so you're not allowed to... to... <laughs> so I don't don't be a sheep. I'm not caught up. Um, I have no desire to make a serious content sometimes. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, anything else to discuss? I mean, that was... I guess the one the one other thing that we uh, should mention is that uh, Fujitora is currently in a meeting with King Riku and um, King Cobra, which makes a lot of sense because Fujitora is trying to abolish the Warlord system, and those are the two kings that got fucked over by Warlords. Did you notice that? Yeah. That's awesome, because essentially, I, I think that Fujitora is going to come into the reverie and make a, a plea, like, hey, we need to stop with the Warlord system, it only fucks us over, here's two kings that literally had their fucking countries destroyed by Warlords. Like, literally, Alabasta was turned into a desert... Like, like a desert that, like, the people went to a civil war over the water because Alabasta took all the water away. And then you have Doflamingo, who literally bird-caged Dressrosa. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think that they'll be able to make a pretty good point there, and that'll be nice. Um, but, yeah. It's exciting. Uh, uh, predictions? 
just the one prediction I have is uh, we still haven't gotten any confirmation of what Shanks was talking about. Yeah, that say. fucking triggers me, so, man. I really wanted to see that. I'm hoping we'll get some insight on that. Well, it's interesting. It's hoping. interesting because Shanks. It looks like Sh I'm gonna guess that whatever Shanks was talking about to them, they just completely ignored it. Like it seems like they're they were like, you know, they probably did one of those like, okay, Shanks, we'll think about it. Okay, let's go suck off our god now. Because <laughs> I mean, honestly, it feels like they kind of like took his words. Because look, looking at looking at how they're walking and their tone, it feels like they were. They look pissed off. Like, no, they, to me they look pissed. They look like they got a fucking. Do, they're talking about doing a new purge. You think they took it well? So I'm assuming that whatever Shanks told them kind of pissed them off even more. Yeah. So I think that <laughs> Shanks told them actually did affect them. But not in a good way. Yeah, but but, that, but that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. Saying okay. Because yeah. I still assume that what Shanks told them was probably like. I, I'm gonna assume it was like you got to take care of Blackbeard first. He's you, you could he's the most important out of all. You know what I mean? That's what I'm assuming personally. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I, when it comes to uh, predictions for me, I think that two things are gonna happen during this reverie. Two big things are gonna happen. Uh, the Alabasta, you know, people from Alabasta. So VV Cobra. A lot. All, many of them might die. Many of them might get captured. Many of them might be turned into slaves. We might even see a fucking Buster Call get like win, win all of its fucking soldiers and like um you know we you know when the main soldiers and royalty are away they might straight up go and Buster Call Alabasta, and it'd be curious I'd be curious to see what the official reason they give to the public would be for that. Um, <laughs> just looking at third or uh, 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 King of Lightning's fucking uh, thumbnail for his recent One Piece review. Oh my god! Uh, but anyway, um, so. We might have one of those situations, and absolutely, we're gonna have something's gonna happen to Shirahoshi. Either uh, say again, you cut off. Okay, your 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 connection's clearly bad. Uh, like it's just horrible right now. So it's a good time to end this end this call. So uh, thank you for everything, guys, um, and uh, peace.